Welcome. Thank you for joining us. We're here in my kitchen for House and Home's first ever live broadcast with Ricardo. Yeah. He's going to cook for me right here in my own kitchen. Oh, it's yes. such a pleasure to have you here. The pleasure is all mine. We've known each other for a long time, yeah. right? Actually, I, you know, sometimes I say we're kind of a, 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 a small, downsized Linda oh, yeah, business yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because honestly yeah. it takes my wife and I to do what yeah, you do no, on your no. own we just, so we're just proud of being independents here in Canada yeah, in true. media it's true and, but you're going to cook for us and yeah. I understand you have a new cookbook slower is better slower right? is better it's and true it just came out mm -hmm. right it's all over the country and I can't imagine you being slow at anything so I'm interested <laughs> in figuring out how you're going to be slow it's about well, slow cooking Why sometimes slow cooking? cooking forces you to take your time if it asks to like as we'll do right now to to saute mushroom until they're golden brown you can't be faster than that right. I mean right. you have to wait until it's done otherwise you won't have all the flavors you deserve for right. the money but you you're spend. gonna make something for me yeah today. I'll make an omelet I love brunches and they're very popular and uh, but I don't want to wake up at five to be ready for that so an omelet in the slow cooker I said that should intrigue Linda really because I mean why? Why? Because I use the slow cooker. And that's your slow that's cooker? That's mine. Okay. And I use the slow cooker as a cooking tool. Okay. As you would use your stove or a, 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 an oven with, with steam. It's really, it's not a microwave. No. Because it's a bath of water and the temperature is so even, mm -hmm. you can do things that normally this, this omelette. Like okay, show omelet. me. We're doing show an omelette today. and. Uh, I'll, I'll just chop an onion. I love that you're chopping in my kitchen. I hate chopping. You do, eh? Well, everybody does. What? But you know, didn't you go to school for this? I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You go to school to learn how to cry with an onion. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you will need about eight ounces of uh, okay. plain white mushrooms. Okay. So and you make it. You make it because how long is it in the slow cooker? It is going to be two hours in the slow cooker. So you get up in the morning. Yeah. You make your omelet. Yeah. You put it in the slow cooker. And it can stand there for another extra hour. So you can set your table, get your guests arrive for your brunch. Totally. And, and, that, and that's the idea. That's the Normally idea. that type of omelet would be actually baked in the oven. It's not, you know, a runny omelet so you could puffs. do on your stove. It puffs. Oh, good. Exactly. Okay. So I will Look put this. I love the way chefs chop, don't you? Well, we chop <laughs> everything every day. Yeah. You get used to it. Yeah. So in a pan. Yeah. And you want one. high? Yeah. Okay. We are going to actually brown these onions and with the mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Button mushrooms. Yeah. So can I talk to you while you do that? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna pour you a glass of wine. Oh, that's I mean, a good it's start. It's 1230, it's time, you're French, you have to drink wine. <laughs> right? So well, they tell me. You must me. have a lot of French in you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you could actually, you could prepare most of these ingredients earlier, you know, the day before, chop the onion and, and the mushroom right. and all that. Do this. And normally, if you would bake this in your oven, you know, it's, it, it, your friends are over. You're having a glass, maybe a mimosa or something. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you look at the clock, gee, it, it, we should be sitting down, but it's not ready yet. Right. Well, it can stand there for an extra hour. So that is That's good. That's the good part. That is, exactly. <laughs> That's that is the good. good part. And yeah. So this is your new issue. Yeah. And the when Christmas is it, issue. When does this come out? It is uh, next Monday. Fabulous. Next Monday. And you see, when we launched the Ricardo magazine in English, it's, I mean, we were looking at what you were doing. And I remember saying to Linda, Linda, you have the nicest magazine in the country. How come we don't have it in French? <laughs> We need this in Quebec. Flattery. And you came. No, no, but it's true. You have the nicest Thank French you. and English Thank you. home Thank magazine you. where you can learn things Thank and you. see beautiful stuff. Thank you. So we did the same thing. Got inspired by you, you did to true. say, why shouldn't we across the country in both languages? And now you're doing it. Exactly. Which is fantastic. Sorry, a good source of inspiration. Thank you. Thank I should have you. gave you a knife, eh? I like it this way. <laughs> Oh, but I could ask you something though. Okay, well, I have to butter my. Yeah, tell uh, me what to do. Yeah. Give me a job. So, yeah, so I'd like you to butter the uh, slow cooker. Okay. Because you don't want the, the omelet to stick in the bottom. Okay. So just brush in a bit of it in the bottom. Okay. You could be olive oil too if you want. Okay. What do you use? Uh, butter. Okay. I always say we are a butter country. Northern yes. countries around the world. That's interesting. Use butter, <laughs> and uh, it it's full of flavor. It yep. goes well with the mushrooms, and uh, I yeah. like that. So, 
And we've now learned that butter is not the most unhealthy thing for us anymore. Oh, it's okay. always on the do amount. Do I do the sides too? A bit, yes, okay. because, because it's going it to puff. Yeah. So at least three inches on the okay. side. So you have this whole cooking line, and all the stuff I'm using is from your line. Oh, you Isn't see? Isn't that great? And We're, I understand you have linens now. We were, yeah. Like you're stomping on my territory. But I have, no, but I have to admit, <laughs> my wife runs <laughs> that thing. But you know what? You should have, you know, an e-commerce place where my stuff, in spring, everything in you should In the spring, be. House and Home will have e-commerce. You will have it? You'll be blown away. Yep. I'm <laughs> eager to see this. You'll be, you'll be blown away. Well, yep. you never do thing a half. You yep. always do well, it. That's why it's taken us so long. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay, so I buttered it like up three inches. It's not that's perfect. Puff more than that, is it? That yeah. is perfect. Okay. Salt and pepper. Yep. Here. Yep. And I think it's time for a sip. Okay. It's time for a sip. Okay. Let's drink to the cookbook, your new issue, our and, 30th anniversary. And the pleasure <laughs> to be independent publisher yeah. in a fantastic country yeah. where people love quality. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Yum. Oh, you know how to entertain. Yum. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, I'm going to check on our omelette here. It's great. It's coming up. Okay. This is coming up. Okay, let's take care of the eggs. Okay. We have to crack 10 eggs in a bowl. Okay. Here, I'll... I can do cracking. Yeah, you can do cracking. Oh, you need this, though. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So ten, 10 eggs. eggs. 10 eggs. And I will add to this a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. This is why it pops. A quarter cup of flour. All purpose flour is good. Salt and pepper. Okay. A little bit of shell never hurt anybody. No, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Normally when I do this, or you do it, yeah. and we're not on camera, you crack your eggs in yeah. a separate bowl. Yeah, so you don't get shell. Yeah. Especially... Like, like, let's just live dangerously. Yeah, <laughs> especially when you add flour, it's tough to see the difference with the color. Yeah. And you see, now is the time to whisk your eggs and the flour before you actually add the milk. That will prevent your omelette to have any lumps. I didn't know that. Yeah, so okay. if it's too liquidy, it's really tough to, to make it work. Properly. So do you believe that theory that you can always tell a great chef by the perfect omelette? An omelette, a creme caramel, And a eggs. roast chicken. Yeah, and a roast chicken. You're yeah, totally right. Because if you overcook eggs, yeah. it's going to taste like an overcooked egg. Yeah. And we don't want that. No. Okay, I'm going to check on this. Because you know, as soon as you give me a glass of wine, that's why I'm I did more it. into having fun. <laughs> That's why and, I did it. Uh, you know, like I have to check. It relaxes on you. Yeah. You've had nothing to eat. It goes straight to your head. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Now you, you see there's no lumps. So no lumps. You can't see any no lumps. bits of flour. Okay. That's what we want. And yeah. we will add one and a half cups of milk. Any any kind of milk? Any. And uh, and it's a healthy omelet. But like it can be two percent. Him, Any whole milk, whatever you want, okay. you have on hand, you can use it yep. and it will work. Yeah, I like this. And when I, I, I actually made this book with my old team, we were yep. thinking, what can we do that hasn't been done? Why would we do either even one but a second book on slow cooking? And we realized that as a tool. You can do Convenient. things that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. You have to be at the stove. You have to be at the stove. We even did parties you where, did. okay, Linda, if you do the butter chicken of my uh, Indian party, I'll take care of the, uh, the dal. Another one's going to do this. Everyone plugs it on the counter. When, you know, Christmas is going to come, Fun. Uh, you don't have that Fun. much space in your fridge or in the oven. So if your friend who wants to give you a hand or a family member comes with a side dish or something. I even did the turkey roast in it. You did? And it's not true that everything is beige does it or brown? brown. It does. It's like it's like indirect heat on a barbecue. It browns. If you yeah. want it to brown, you take a cloth. Yeah. A clean cloth like this. Yeah. You put it on top and then you close your lid and the steam's gonna get in the linen instead of dropping back oh, on your food. So then so it browns. It browning. So we can make a lasagna, Clever. you can make things where 
you will actually have color. Good. Okay. So, do, okay, so do you eat out a lot? I'm sorry? Do you, you like to eat out? Oh, I wish. But you know, we are creating 400 recipes a year. Okay. So I don't you have, have no much life? time. To, no well, in Toronto, a bit more. <laughs> so that's what I want to know. Keep okay. going. Oh, beautiful. This Where is do you what like to want. eat out? So, uh, beautiful. Where do you like to eat? Well, I, I'm giving names. I'm not trying to stop you. No, 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 no. no. Okay. It's, it's okay. because if you, I put this in my eggs and it's too hot, it's going to cook right oh, away. You don't want so that. I'll leave it there for just a minute so to cool down. Okay. So I can have a sip. You know, okay. I love, uh, you know, I have two lives. In Montreal, the family's there. So you go, I love to go at, at places where it's family oriented and we can have fun. It's a bit louder. In Toronto, I'm quite often alone, alone. on my own, except next year, my oldest is going to be here at Great. Ryerson. So we'll be two to Great. party in Toronto. Great. And uh, so I'm going to smaller places where I can read and maybe have a good pizza, good Vietnamese, good... good. You think no. our food scene's pretty good? <gasps> it's fantastic. Good. We I have to remember that now, <laughs> Toronto is the third largest city in North America, and that great chefs from all over the world are like flew here and we're the most, to open restaurants. We're the most multicultural, yeah. diverse city in North America, so we have all these wonderful cuisines all coming together, it's fantastic. It's really, really... It has changed dramatically for, I mean, for the good in the yeah. last 10 years. Yeah. At, at all aspects of food, True. you go to market, they're so lively, Kings and St. Lawrence, everywhere. And you have, it's impossible not to have something unique. Actually, when you create recipes, you can't, like me, you can't just look at what's in Toronto and Montreal because it, it's unbelievable. So when I fly, wherever I am in the country, when I, the first thing I love to do is to stop the local grocery store. Yeah, and to see, see what there is. Yeah, what are they I'm meat cut? They're dairies. Oh, I've, clogged, <laughs> I've turned off the heat. Okay. It's all good. I don't know why I'm worrying about your mushrooms or your mushrooms. And uh, it's time to add them here to the bowl anyway. That's what I want you to so do. So I love to go to grocery stores to see what they have to make sure that these recipes talk to everyone. Okay. And, um, and actually, you do the same thing. Your recipe in a magazine have to talk to yeah, everyone. Yeah, totally. Okay, so it's there. It looks beautiful. You just transfer this to the slow And you could cooker. basically do anything, right? You could have greens, spinach, you could have hot peppers. Yeah, just saute anything, anything. you want before. Anything. Because, yeah. Cheese. Cheese, oh, but cheese, oh yeah, mm -hmm. we're going to add some cheese. That's like a good cheese. idea. We'll add about a cup of... It oh, could I'm be seeing it sitting there thinking. Anything. Oh, you're so slow with that. Cheese would be nice to add because she, she's not, I forgot about the cheese. But a cup of it. Yeah. So uh, this is Swiss cheese, but a good cheddar. Any, any cheese you like, actually. Even blue cheese would work with mushroom like this. So about a cup. Great. Love cheese. But do you have time to entertain? I, I entertain all the time. You do. All you have time with all the work I'm you fortunate. do. I'm fortunate. No, I, look, I've got lots of good help and... I love doing it. Wow. My life is not that rough anymore. Used to be in the early years. Oof, but now lots Well, of <laughs> that's a good thing to hear. Yeah. Great okay, life. so I'm adding you could have mixed everything in, in the bag with Does the Does it eggs, make a difference? No. No, not really. So I like to add like this about a cup okay. of it. Now it's time to cook. Okay. So to cook it's pretty simple. You will put your and when you buy a, a slow cooker, that's very important. You need at least six point five liters. You don't need the whole shebang technology. You will pay for nothing. So a slow cooker should be between 60 and $100. How much is yours? 60. This one is 60. <laughs> and, but I mean, it can vary. And it, sometimes maybe you have one already and it's in good condition. Keep it. It will work because I've tested these recipes in different uh, slow cooker. But sometimes a small round one, it's that is tougher. Small, it's too small. You just it, would feed, like you could maybe give Four to six people. Some yeah, and you have to think omelet. that there'll yeah. be other things on the yeah, table. Right, right, right. Eggs yeah. are one of the yeah. things we'll entertain with. So, and what you want on top here, you want to be able to control the heat. You see, this is low. You have high, and then it will switch to warm automatically. What do you want? I right now I'm going to put it on low, okay. and I'm going to put it to two hours. It's reversing. Okay, two hours. Two, two hours. The after two hours, automatically it will flip on warm. Okay. This is what we want. And here it's, yeah, it's Can you so do rice in this? 
No. No. I, I'm rice. going to make you laugh. Why? I'll release a rice cooker soon. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I love my rice cooker. It's like essential. Yeah, and, and what I wanted is, is I wanted something that could cook all sorts of rice. Yeah. So brown rice, all yeah. wheat, yeah. Uh, jasmine, Everything. and barley. Uh, yeah. You can make different quinoa, types of quinoa, grains. exactly, grains okay. like this. I okay. bet, what's over there? <laughs> that is the end result. This is like through the magic of television. Done. You made yes. one for us? Yeah, oh. I made one for you. Oh. And I'll just scoop some out okay, of I'm going to move this so that we can bring this one into the picture. Okay? Let's just swap. Can okay. we? Yes, we can. Okay. You move yours over. Okay. I'll try not to. Oh, drop this one this. is still just a bit runny. Oh my God, it looks good. Look at this. Okay, I'll bring it here. Oh, that's Look beautiful. Look at this. Uh, oh, oh, unplug the wrong here, let stuff. Let me unplug it. Let me unplug it. Okay. okay. See? It's got a crust. It got a crust. I it's like runny. It's still a bit runny. But you I can, like runny. You could, normally this would go on warm. It'd be there for another... But I like runny. Oh, I love it too. Aren't you going to have some? Oh, I'm yeah. not eating alone. Okay. No. Here. Okay. I'm going to give you okay. some. No, some. I have this one with the ham because... I know, but I can't eat all that. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> you have some. Oh. This is a beautiful omelet. Do you eat um, do you use stainless steel when you're eating eggs? Yeah. I think it makes a difference. I don't know if it's in my head or not, but when I eat eggs with silver, I can taste something funny. Do you feel that way? Well, I'm not used to silver as much as you. Oh, get my... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was too easy. That was too it was easy. too easy. That was too okay. easy. I'm not eating potatoes, Ricardo. No, why? No, because... I love it. You know, it's not the potato the problem. It's the stuff we oh, put on. Oh, wow. <laughs> but that's but another... But it looks good. It has that puffiness yeah. that you like. Okay. Mm. 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 It's different from a regular omelet. Yeah. It's puffier. It's it... delicious. It's kind of like velvety inside, and it's gone of, kind of like a souffle. When you go... To, when it's Sugar Shack it's season... When yep. you go to the sugar shack, quite yes. often the type of omelet they will give us on the table is that type of omelet. It's a, they would never bake an omelet on the stove. They would make it in the oven. And that is kind of that feeling. You it's like this? It's delicious. And you but know it's what? it's not like an omelet. It's like a souffle. It's true. There's something about that. It's very, um, it's very light and airy. It's got lots of air in it. And it's, oh, I love this. And you did the perfect pairing with the white wine. Mm. Mm. Delicious. It's really good. And what I like to do is, I love dessert. You can make chocolate pudding. Okay. Cheesecake, Guess all sorts what? of things. We're making chocolate pudding. Yeah. I convinced him to stay and do it. So you have to watch the website because in the next short while. Oh, it's true. We're doing it. There's going yeah. to be a chocolate pudding demo in his slow cooker mm. that I understand is fantastic. It's the best. This is delicious. It's truly the best. It's delicious. It's going to be on our website next Friday. Did you, you know that? No, but now I know. <laughs> You're perfect. This is so good. Yeah. So, so good. It's a nice way to entertain for brunch. Relax. If you want to just put a minimum effort, you will have a whole lot for of fun. this minimum. Great exactly. Christmas present. Thank you, Ricardo. Thank you so much, Thank Linda. Thank you. This is Thank delicious. You. I'm sorry, but I have to Thanks. keep eating. Thanks for joining us. Come <laughs> have a back. Great day. Yes, have a great day. This was fun. Yeah. Mm.